This program is a paid commercial announcement and in no way represents the views of WPHT or its management. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, WPHT HD, WOGL HD3, Philadelphia. Now, Health Watch, featuring Dr. Molly Fantasia, the PhD doctor and founder of Innovative Medical Associates, with valuable information that could help you improve your quality of life. Now, Health Watch, and your host, John Damasi. Well, you know, whatever the weather is today, they're telling us it's going to be 80. So summer doesn't want to go away. That's which great, I'm, I'm though. I'm okay with that. I'm happy. You know, <laughs> we're going to be 80 and 82 at the, the, the end of the week. We'll take it. But anyway, no matter what the weather, you know what we say. It's always a good day to be healthy. It's Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. We are here every Sunday at this time. And Dr. Molly Fantasia, of course, is here, as you heard the man say. She is the Ph.D. doctor and the executive director and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. We talk about the who, what, when, where, why, and how of Innovative Medical in this hour. And, of course, we always welcome your questions at 855-839-1210, 855-839-1210. That is our number here. And feel free at any time during the course of the show. If you have a question for Dr. Molly or you have a medical challenge you want to run by her, that's what you do. Pick up the phone. Call 855-839-1210. Always a good day to get healthy, Dr. Molly, and, and always a good day to talk about what you do. Oh, I know. At Innovative <laughs> Medical. And, you know, it, it's just, it, it's so interesting. Uh, every time I meet a new patient, I hear a new story. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, we had a couple of new patients right, this week. Right. Yes. And, yes. And, and they tell me, well, what are you here for? Well, I'm here for, and I have to go through the laundry list, but, uh, <laughs> you know, what are you here for? Well, I'm here for this. And that. But it's it's interesting, the variety of challenges that yes. you're presented with that you treat right. on, no, on an ongoing basis. Well, we treat a lot of challenges, but the one thing we all have in common is we want to improve their quality of life. Right. And most patients come to me just for that. Right. That's what they want to do. Yeah, they can tolerate what conditions God's given them. How do we improve on it? And and that's really your goal, improving your overall quality of exactly, life. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, Here's the thing. We are a licensed primary care facility. All of the providers work from my licensed primary care facility. We have one goal in mind. We can do anything any other primary care facility can do. Okay, you need an antibiotic, doc can prescribe the antibiotic. You need uh, something else, another type of pharmaceutical, we can prescribe that. But we want to use the least amount of the pharmaceutical to effectuate the change medically, keep you safe, and augment that with the hydration therapy. How do you do it? <laughs> which, <laughs> well, is a, which is a million-dollar question, you know right? <laughs> it's, there's an art to it. First of all, you have to know what type of, of uh, substances will effectuate the change from the natural point of view. And obviously, you know, our physicians are astute in the pharmaceutical end of this. Uh, I have a little knowledge of the pharmaceutical end of this. And so we have to make sure that things are put together properly in order to effectuate the change. But fundamentally, we believe that by delivering the natural substances through hydration, which is an IV, we're able to give an appropriate amount so that we can effectuate the change fairly quickly, keep the patient safe, and minimize side effects from the pharmaceuticals. I like how humble you are. You said, I have a little knowledge. I do. I, <laughs> you have well, two PhDs. Right, I know, but, I know but, you're very humble. You but, don't want to say but, that, but you but do. But the bottom line is my, my docs are smart people as well. And the thing is, it's the philosophical difference, I think, about our facility versus a lot of other places. Yes, are we more holistic? The answer is yes. But we're also conventional, and I mean conventional in the sense of, of what you would do in a regular facility if it were an outpatient facility in a hospital. We're, we're conventional. For example, I sent a patient to the hospital this week. Yeah, Not I know. because we're, we're, she yeah, had to, right. to go, but I'm saying, you know, we do these things. We, we, you know, doctor makes medical judgments. You're not opposed to conventional medicine. No, absolutely you never have been. not. Absolutely not. But the key is that you believe in the holistic approach and the right. natural approach, right. which can be in the long run a better 
way solution. to go. Solution, right. yes. Okay. It, and because, again, look, you've seen the side effects on all these meds, oh. right? And now, oh. oh, now there's a whole line of new meds that are out that are injectable. Look at all the things that are injectable for high cholesterol. Have you seen oh, yeah. the side effects of this? So how about we all get together? And I'm not saying it's hard to do sometimes because people have to change their diet, change a little lifestyle. But how about we do a little course of chelation where there's very little side effect, if any. In, in our clinic, we've never had any. You know, Bottom line. Right? Wouldn't that be better than maybe getting a shot of something that ruins, you know, gives you other problems? Speaking of shots, you yeah. remember I was on that. Oh my goodness! Yes. With the with the and and actually I didn't want to do it myself, so your lovely Linda did it for me. I remember. And I, and I was like, I said, Oh no, I can't do this. And it was it was yeah, a couple really, of days later. It, you it, really yeah, had a yeah, terrible yeah, reaction. Exactly. And it was the side effect. It wasn't that the medication wouldn't do the job. Oh heck, it would. But in the meantime, your life was miserable. Yes, it was. So uh, <laughs> what's the point of that? And as a result, I will say this, John: the fact that you've been very faithful to both chelation and also uh, a specific nutraceutical regimen in terms of your other comorbidities has made a difference. You you lead a pretty full life. Yes. Okay, and yeah. that's the bottom line. Yes. Do we take an hour out of your a day uh, twice a week? Maybe. Yeah. But that's not a big deal. But really. it's worth it. I of mean, course. in the look long at, run. Look at how long. You, I mean, you really are running a couple of shows, right? Exactly. You have a social life, which you should, right? I mean, come on. This is what so you need a, to it's do. It's a, a fairly active lifestyle. Right. For, for the age that I'm at. Well, I feel the same way, <laughs> right. right? I mean, Yeah, you and I, I are in the same boat. <laughs> right. I definitely feel the same way. And I will tell you, most of our patients do. And these are people who come to us mostly who have some type of comorbidities. Look, if you live long enough, you're going to get something. Bottom line. Absolutely. No one gets out of this world, I think, unscathed. That's right. But the question always comes up, and maybe you can elaborate a bit on a, does this approach work? And B, how can you tell if it's working? Oh. I mean, I know personally I feel good. Okay. That's all that's, I know. Look, that's the qualitative data. We can also run the blood work and do and run some other testing and will. You know, let's look at what are the conditions. My biggest challenge, John from the perspective of caregivers, include everybody in my place, is what do we fix up first? People come in and they say, well, see, Dr. Molly, I have pain, but I also have a cardiac problem. And I have diabetes, <laughs> right. too. And don't forget this. And, oh, don't forget my chronic fatigue, right? Yeah. And so it's like, hey, guys, we got to prioritize. And these are people, by the way, it's not just everybody, meaning, you know, you come in and you're in various um uh, different types of modalities in terms of your life, meaning, oh, where are you in your life cycle, right? Like your grandmother or your mother or whatever. This is across the board. Even It even affects my healthcare providers who are patients. They come in and say, oh, well, I have this problem, then I have this one. I say, hey, 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 what do you do in your office? Oh, we prioritize. We have to, too. Right. So it's, one it's one like, at a time. One at, as right. I say, one bite of the apple at a time. Right. 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 The hydration, of course, and we're going to get into it a little bit later in the show, where you talk about what is included in some sure. of the hydration therapies. But the hydration is something that, I mean, it's that's pretty vehicle. much. It's a vehicle. It's a vehicle. And it's it's, a vehicle. It, it happens. I mean, you do it. I do it twice a week. Some do it once. Once a week. It some, depends. Some does know. do it every other week. Some people can, after they go into a maintenance, they can come in maybe once a month. Some people don't come back for several months. I mean, it really depends. This past week, I've had COVID. Let's, <laughs> you know, it says COVID. And COVID that mania. <laughs> COVID mania. And this particular family wanted to come in every day. And we put them in every day. And honestly, I think by the end of the week, they were feeling super. So, I mean, there, here we go. Post-COVID uh, people. I mean, it really depends on what we're trying to accomplish. Did here. they have COVID? Was it, was it Well, a they said they had a test and they were positive. Uh, I would tell you that I think that uh, they must have been, I don't know, they weren't positive when we did the test in the end, but they clearly were having what I believe is post-COVID symptoms. And they felt better. Felt the bottom better. Line, they, they were felt like better. skipping out. Yeah. So it was, you know, the bottom line is, you know, this COVID has wrecked havoc with a lot of people. Do you figure in terms of longevity, you said, you know, once a week, twice a week, yeah. once every other week, whatever. 
overall, I mean, somebody like me has been a patient of yours for 20 years. Yeah. But overall, what is the kind of the time frame? Generally, we can effectuate the change between 5 and 15 weeks, depending on what the challenge is. And depending on whether we're doing multiple challenges, and some, by the way, some things overlap. Like, for example, diabetes and diabetic neuropathy overlap. So we're, we're handling pain plus managing blood sugar. That might be a uh, 30 to 50 treatment type of person. So it really depends on what we're trying to do. Cancer patients, you know, we treat various types of cancer supportive care. So it depends on where they are in their cancer continuum, and that'll make the difference. All right, we're coming up on our first break in the morning. Our program is called Health Watch, and you'll find us here every Sunday, 8 until 9, here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, Dr. Molly Fantasia. She is here. She is the PhD doctor and the executive director and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. We've been discussing the who, what, when, where, why, and how of Innovative Medical. We're going to get into some other things uh, later on in the show. Dr. Molly wants to talk about vitality and restoring healthy stem cells and whatever you want to talk about. You have a question? 855-839-1210 is our number. 855-839-1210 with Dr. Molly Fantasia. I'm John DeMassey. We return more of today's Health Watch after these words. And we're back here on Health Watch. As always, operators standing by at Innovative Medical, and you can contact them right now. You want to set up an appointment to sit down with Dr. Molly. That's really where you can get a lot of your questions answered and the information that you need in order to make a decision whether you want to move forward or not. Call the number right now, 856-489-0505. That's 856-489-0505. It is Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. Feel free to call them. And like I said, they're always there. And they're there after we leave you at 9 o'clock this morning. So feel free to call 856-489-0505. Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. And the website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. Our show is Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. Just want to mention that you heard a, a commercial for Dr. Molly's line of skincare products, and Dr. Molly has added a new product, sunscreen. Yeah. yeah. And, and the question that you and, and Dr. Harvey <laughs> yeah. uh, were, were addressing from people is, what do you mean sunscreen? It's, it's October. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you, sunscreen. That's right. Because you know what? You need sunscreen year round. And even here in the East Coast, people think you only need it in the West Coast or in Florida, that kind of thing. Actually, we need it all the time. And as we talk about restoring vitality, we want to talk about keeping your skin's vitality as well. Because it's all important, That's right? right. And so one of the things that we did was we have a really all natural skin, um, actually skincare product that is a, um, I think it's a SPF 50 almost. And you just apply it. It's great. It moisturizes as well as protects you from sunscreen. You know, the other thing, John, you and I, well, I do a lot of walking. I know you And do, that yeah. was one of the things that Dr. Harvey was so, he's just such a gracious guy. He said, you know, Dr. Molly, I want you to protect your face out there. I said, what do you mean, Harv? He said, you walk almost every day outside. He said, do you know the kind of sun rays you're getting all the time? He said, granted, you like that vitamin D. But he said, I'm worried about the actual skin cancer as a result of overexposure to the sun. So it's a good idea to use sunscreen all, all year. year round. Yeah, okay. and ours in particular, you can use it as a basis and then apply your makeup, et cetera. So it's really cool. Okay, so that's good. just a, a that's new a product. Tidbit. That's a, a tidbit. A, a, a new product. All yeah. right, 855-839-1210 is our number here if you have a question for Dr. Molly or you have a medical challenge. And I know you wanted to talk about vitality, Well, and that's yeah. kind of the underlying theme of everything well, we do but yeah. talk about this restoring uh, healthy stem cells right I w i'm talking about restoring our own stem cells and i want to preface this by saying do we do regenerative medicine of course we do we can administer into your body uh, a differentiated pl uh, pluripotent extracellular matrix that commonly is called i don't know they want to call it stem cell or whatever we don't do that because we don't believe it is true stem cell all right but we do use that 
in addition. So if you have a, a, a skeletal problem or you have some pain in certain areas, you've known we've done this. An example of that might be our PRP or the platelet-rich plasma. Indeed, we do those things. So I, I don't want people to say that what I'm talking about means I negate what's going on in regenerative medicine. We do that and have the ability to do it. But what I'm talking about is actually restoring your own healthy stem cell functions. In other words, the one that are left over when you're 70, all right? Yes. <laughs> okay. And one of the things, the ways that you do this is via V certain nutritional supplements. And how do we know this? Well, the research has been out there. For example, there are things depending on what it, what organs we're looking at changing or helping you maintain the vitality of certain organs, tissues, etc. The functionality of them. That's the point. The functionality. So, for example, I hear a lot of stories about eyes. Our eyes get a little weaker as we age, right? Well, you don't think that we have a hydration protocol for that? Of course we do. And yes, are they doing so many new things with regenerative medicine in your eyes? Of course. Of course. But you know what? You take my nurse, Barbara. She was able to change her outcome on her eye exam. Six months ago, she was told, oh, you know, you're going to have to have some shots in the eyes. You, you're, you're, you're really starting to have a problem, you know, with floaters, etc." Guess what? She did it. And how did she do it? She did it with the IVs that we give her that include things like lutein, zeaxanthine, alpha, uh, you know, uh, beta uh, carotene and alpha carotene. Also, astrazanthine and a little bit of saffron extract. That's one of the ways. So what I'm saying is you don't have to suffer from all of these degenerative diseases. We do have nutraceuticals delivered via IV, delivered the hydration, that can help you. Can you tell us what a stem cell is? Because you often talk about that, and, <laughs> well, and I hear it, and I'm like, well, you know what? Yeah. I, well, I heard it, but I, what exactly is okay. it? Okay. Well, the stem cells actually are developed in the bone marrow, all right? Stem cells are non-differentiated at that point. In other words, that's why when you go to these regenerative, quote-unquote, regenerative clinics, including ours, and we shoot you with something, a matrix that has growth factors in it, platelets, and you've heard me, it's the signaling of that. But the stem cells then go and the, the body, God has given the body such a wonderful gift. The stem cells go to something called uh, uh, progenitive uh, cells. And what happens is they're sort of a descendant of the stem cell, but they truly are not really functional yet. And what happens is when the stem cells differentiate in the body, it has an innate ability to do this. So you have stem cells that go to your muscle, that go to certain tissues. Um, we all know this from our muscle guys, right? Yes. They want to build up those muscles. So lots of them have used certain things that allegedly help their muscle stem cells. So what happens is these then become functional cells, and functional cells then actually lead to healthy tissue or organs. So you start again with something that is completely empty or devoid of a differentiation and goes to the body's areas that need these stem cells. But the object is, don't we want to keep all of our functionality? We want to keep our vitality well into our 80 and 80s and 90s, don't we? Yes, absolutely. But to try to understand this, it, it, when you get the, the stem cells and you get all of this, are, are you just like you were? Is it? Is no, that, no. No. Okay. That's just, the point. That's the point. You can do all the, you know, I, I had a patient who came into us and spent $25,000 on regenerative medicine. Not at your facility. No, no, right. no, no, no. Listen, no, no. But told me about how he went to Florida and how he got all this. And look at me, he says. Uh, you know what I said? I said, because you didn't feed what they gave you. You yourself, you you have to make your own stem cells feel like they're getting the nutrition and the power that they need to communicate to each other. How is that done? It's done through certain types of nutraceutical amino acids, those kinds of things. 
athletes, I handle a lot, uh, several young athletes, right? Now, they have a whole list of banned substances that they can't take, right? Right. But they certainly can take things that are found naturally in the body to help their own muscle mass, to help their own stem cells do the job. Remember, each of our stem cells has a specific job to do. Right. Absolutely. We have some for muscle. We have some for digestion. We have some for neuro. Right. Neuro. We have some for neuro. So really, the idea is, what is the area that we want to work on? Well, to tell you the truth, people like you and me, we want to work on it all. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, I agree. you know, so what we have to do is, again, we have to sit back and say, OK, let's prioritize. You know, are my knees hurting and can I do a PRP? Yes, of course we can do that. But how do we make that PRP and enhance it? Well, we're going to give you things that are going to feed those particular cells and help you regain the cartridge you need or heal the tear. And that's where I'm coming from. And we can do this on an ongoing basis for ourselves as well. It takes longer, takes longer, but it can be done. I wanted to ask you, when you, and I asked you the question about are you like you were, and you said no, but no. how close can you be with regenerative medicine, stem cells, and all of the things that you're doing? How close can you be to where well, you were? I would say one thing that I'm sure of. You can help reverse certain things. If you have a tear in your meniscus, we can probably help you reverse that. If you have pain in certain areas, we can reverse that. I have seen with the delivery of certain regenerative products, now not not just the nutraceuticals, but with a certain um, extracts of the regenerative uh, mix, we've been able to help people with neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and uh, MS. But have we cured the condition? Absolutely not. But in addition to giving them the particular outside stem cells or whatever you want to call that. I don't, it's really not stem cell. I want to make that clear. People use the term stem cell too cavalierly. It is not stem cell. What it is is it's a cellular mixture of things that need, you know, and maybe include a couple of stem cells, but it's not stem cells. But it's the communication of those particular cells that we're delivering. It's a very hard concept. That's why I want to go back to restoring your own. So even when we put this in, let's say, to your knee, we don't stop there. We actually want to, we're planting the seed, and then we want to water the flower. And, and without watering the flower, it doesn't matter what you do with the seed. Yeah, right? you might get some. You might get some growth, but you're not going to get a whole garden. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And that's really a concept that's hard for people to get. And people go out and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on this anti-aging. And and I agree you should do a regenerative um yeah, regenerative medicine has a real place. Okay? Anti-aging medicine has a real place, but there are so many things we can do to ourselves to aid that is what I'm saying. All right, at that point we uh, have reached the halfway mark of the show. Time flies, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. it? Time does fly when we're having fun here. It's Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, the PhD doctor and the executive director and founder of Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. Our number here in the studio, 855-839-1210. And we always tell you during uh, this point in the show that you can call now because we have plenty of time to talk to you. And invariably, we get some calls at the end of the show. We can't take you because it's the show is over. So call in, 855-839-1210. While you have plenty of time to do that, 855-839-1210. With Dr. Molly Fantasia, I'm John DeMassey. We come back. More Health Watch after these words. If you are interested in discussing your situation with Dr. Molly, I would suggest that you contact the operators who are standing by right now at Innovative Medical, 856-489-0505. You call, you make an appointment, sit down with Dr. Molly, go over your whole situation, and at the end of that conversation, you should have a better idea of uh, what you need to do to move forward. 856-489-0505. And as I always say, the operators are there now, and they'll be there well after we leave you at 9 o'clock this morning, so feel free to call at 856-489-0505. It's Innovative Medical Associates, 
Marlton, New Jersey. And the website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. And our show is Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. Should mention, uh, Dr. Molly, you've been working Saturdays. Now it's a regular thing. You have Saturday yeah. hours. Yeah, we do. Half day. Half day. Uh, so you know. if you can't get in during the week. Obviously, but we really want to call and have an appointment on Saturday. So, uh, you know, here's the thing, John. Because I really have specific protocols for people and because of all of the changes with covid meaning delivery of certain things that kind of thing i really plan ahead for the whole month for the particular patients i have and what i'm trying to effectuate change with you know it's really difficult uh, right now particularly with the powders that i need to buy and have compounded let it's me really guess a shortage yeah, hmm. yeah, and you everything, really want everything has a So shortage. I really need people to adhere to uh, giving us a call and setting up the appointment, and then I get an overview. It's really nice to have the free consultation because at that point, I can really help a patient uh, figure out what it is in terms of their particular protocol I may need to make sure I have in on at the clinic because everything we do is customized. And you're able to get the product that you need. For the most part, right. because I pretty much bought things way in advance. Well, you, you just want to mention that you have Saturday hours. You know yeah. what I heard yesterday? There's a what? shortage of tuna fish. Uh, <laughs> it's a shortage of everything. <laughs> well, I can tell you that there's a shortage for all kinds of things. And the point is, and then there's also a problem with getting them delivered. They may have the things, you know, and uh, but but getting it delivered is another whole issue. All right, 855-839-1210 is our number here. If you have a question for Dr. Molly, 855-839-1210. I know you wanted to talk about this. You had a situation the other day where you actually – had your administrative assistant drive someone to the hospital. I did. I did. Uh, well, what was the what, story this here? Is what, what, what I want to say, this is what makes our particular primary <laughs> facility a little different than anywhere else. Actually, we were able to deli- you know, take her to the hospital. She was not in any danger, so it wasn't a 911 situation or anything like that. But she had been complaining for the last few weeks of feeling palpitations, not arrhythmias in her heart, palpitations. Now, you know, palpitations can come about for all kinds of things. Thyroid can cause your heart to be uh, beating a little more quickly. But again, no arrhythmias, nothing that would be out of the ordinary. Two of my registered nurses checked her out, doc checked her out. And really couldn't find anything. But, you know, she was in the facility on Thursday. And she again said, but look, Dr. Molly, look, I don't know. Why is my pulse regular, but I'm feeling this? I said, you know, this has me stumped too. So what do you need in the moment right now? She said, I think I need to go to the hospital. I said, you do. I said, you understand you're going to have a little bit of a wait because of COVID. Doesn't appear that you're in immediate danger. But you know what? Let me get you to the hospital. Okay? And so we did. We took her to the hospital. Interestingly enough, they admitted her to observation because, again, when we're talking about cardiac, what do we want to do? We want to err on the side of caution. This is what I'm saying. In other words, we're not against conventional medicine. I thought, well, let's get her there. Let's get her checked out. And then, of course, if we have a diagnosis, we can then talk about what she needs in terms of the nutritional piece. Well, she goes to the hospital. They keep her overnight. They run a battery of tests. She has an echo, a very good echocardiogram, which means her output is good. They find nothing wrong with her. They keep her for more and more tests. And they said, Oh, we really can't find anything wrong. Maybe we'll do a heart catheterization. At that point, she said, I don't think so, which is smart, (laughs) actually. And what she did was she left and they gave her some anti-anxiety medication. I think the medication was extremely important in this situation. She needs to be medicated because she's obviously been worrying. She has some viral issues. She has things like chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and some of that can be why that she has viruses like CMV, Epstein-Barr, some of that can contribute to things like this. But isn't it better we sent her, she was checked out, and now we can put a course of what I consider a more natural approach to her problem. But I think it was important that she be seen and that we, of course, 
became her primary in that situation. I think the whole thing is peace of mind there. Yes, right. and here's the thing. With COVID, everybody, I can't tell you how many people are saying that, well, I had a fever, I think it's COVID, or I had this. Now, we have the antigen test, which is a rapid test. We can do that. Um, we have the antibody tests, and we just finished our proficiencies, which tell us that we are proficient in doing those testing, that what we get is generally correct. And we also send out, if somebody does have a positive, we'll send out for a PCR test. This woman was negative all the way around. Bottom line is, look, if you're anxiety-ridden over the over this particular virus, if you think you have it, get checked out. That's my point of this whole thing. Get checked out so that you have peace of mind, and then you can move forward with maintaining your own health. So, it, it really, some of this is, is kind of psychology here. Oh, the, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's really... Uh, well, listen, there is a mind-body connection, right. folks. There's a mind... And this is not to say someone is off their rock or crazy, whatever you want to say, or mentally ill. Heck, no. I'm saying that the mind-body connection is a powerful thing. And it can, indeed, make you sick. It can make you sick. And worry, worry about this COVID can make you sick. And we already have enough viruses out there to make us sick, (laughs) right? And lots of our people, you know, you don't live to 70-something and probably not have some problems that get exacerbated if you're worried. So let's take this particular patient now. Okay, so she's out of the hospital. She's out of the hospital. What is, what is your plan to treat her from well, here on in? I think my plan to treat her from here on in after conferring with the good doctor is that we're going to continue to use some anti-anxieties for a while. When it's time to move her off of those, we're going to help her reduce them. I think it's important that she does some mind-body uh, meditation and those kinds of things. Possibly talk to someone in the uh, who is a psychologist and possibly talk and lay the fears out. And really, I think we have to go back to treating her viruses, which contribute to pain and confusion, like chronic fatigue and the fibromyalgia. And realize, you know, this is a terrible time for people. This COVID has taken our minds as well as our bodies, really. And, and you will treat her with hydration. Absolutely. And, and with seeing the, you know, Dr. Uh, Doctor Mark has become her primary care physician. When we sent her there, we expect all the records. We're going to review the records, even though they discharged her, et cetera, and see if there's anything that, you know, could be done in addition. And maybe they missed a little something since it wasn't a, an emergency, truly. And we're going to review those, do the archaeology, and then put a plan together for her. How do you know when something is a problem or when something is in your head and it's just well, in your I, head? Well, I'm not saying that. Uh, that know, I'm not saying in she, general. She, I'm not calling her mental, okay? okay? I'm not doing that. What I'm saying is not everything symptomatically is life-threatening in the moment. But why wouldn't you check it out? Absolutely. And, you know, I have another patient who was a wonderful woman who had COVID. And she had everything related to post-COVID. I sent her immediately to Dr. Mark's office in Philadelphia. He and then turned her around and sent her to the hospital. She got peace of mind. She's now sitting in my chair. And we're delivering what I can in terms of the nutraceuticals, the amino acids to help her get through this post-COVID. Many of this stuff is related to post-COVID, I'm telling you. So it's not that, you know, she could be having a rapid heartbeat from post-COVID, right? Or the shot. Some people have a reaction to the vaccine. How, how many people have you seen since they've gotten the vaccine and they're having all kinds of reactions to the vaccine? So isn't it our job to help minimize that if we can? Absolutely. And that's what I'm saying. But we also have to be careful. We can't decide someone is mental and therefore they don't need to go to the hospital. We're not right. going to do that. Right. We're going to support you no matter what the situation is. Okay, we're coming up on our final break in the morning, which means you still have time to jump in here with a question for Dr. Molly or a medical challenge that you want to run by her. 855-839-1210 is our number. 
855-839-1210. That's the number here in the studio if you have a question for Dr. Molly right now. And as I said, we have a few minutes left of the show, so you got some time to come in here with a question or a medical challenge. 855-839-1210. The show is Health Watch. Sundays, 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT with Dr. Molly Fantasia. I'm John DeMassey. We return more of today's Health Watch after these words. And operators are standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates as we are here on Health Watch. You can contact them directly if you want to sit down with Dr. Molly and go over your situation. A lot of times you wonder, you know, can Dr. Molly help with this or with that? Well, you know what you do? You call, make the appointment, and find out. The initial consultation is complimentary. And the number is 856 489 856 489 and they will be there well after we leave you at 9 o'clock this morning. So you can call. You can even call during the Eagles game because they'll be there as well. All right. <laughs> 856-489-0505. The website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. Also want to remind you, if you missed any of today's show or you liked it, you want to hear it again, well, we have our Health Watch replay every Sunday, 4 till 5, here on Talk Radio 1210. WPHC, so you can catch us on the replay as well. Right now, we're going to go to the phones. We have uh, Tom in Kensington is on the line. Tom, good morning. Hi, You're Tom. on with Dr. Molly on Health Watch. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Good, buddy. How uh, you doing? Let, let me see. I went and got the uh, the vac shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the uh, Johnson Johnson. Yes. I'm not proud about it, but I had to do it. No, that's okay. Uh, it's a, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, I read somewhere I could take a twin iodine and C60 to help ca- counteract the effects of the spike proteins, the, what? the cytokine storm that happens when you get a regular cold. You, you know what? I, I read that study as well. And, yeah, I want you to be careful, though, with the iodine, you know. Um, I've had people who use too much, and then they cause some thyroid issues you know what i mean so i want you no, to be careful it doesn't uh, involve iodine Good. it's twin uh, oxide yeah I, I hear you but i can tell you that i had a patient who definitely used it and had some problems so all i'm saying mm-hmm. is that yeah please be careful i have no problem it sounds like you're a smart guy you're doing everything you can and continue to yeah. do it i'm all about i'm all about you taking care and restoring your own and, healthy cells yeah. God bless and you. And I've been taking the natural iodine every day for years good. upon years. Oh, good, good for you. God bless you, and I'm glad it's yeah, working no, it's for huge, you. But I'm afraid yeah. of the spike proteins. If I get a regular <laughs> cold, my body, my immune system's going to freak out and send all these spike proteins to infect others and attack my own body. Well, the, I, I think that's a, a theory that is absolutely on the money. So. Please continue to take care of yourself. Yeah, Tom. God bless you, Thank Tom. You. Thank you for the God call. God bless Appreciate you. It. Nice call. Nice yeah. call. Okay. Debbie's in Chester County. Debbie, good morning. You're on Health Watch with Dr. Molly. Hi, Dr. Molly. Hi, Hi, Hi Deb. I Hi, have Deb. Um, a three-part question. I'm going to hang up and listen. <laughs> it has to do with the procedure you use in your facility. One, you mentioned the bag that everything is in. What is that made of? What are we dealing with, with what the bag is made of? Two, the hydration, the water. Is it a spring water? Is it a distilled water? And three, what are the concerns for having um, an IV put into my vein as okay. often as you might do? Are there Listen. any concerns or problems I, with that? And well, I'll be first listening of, now. Thank okay, you. Okay, honey. All right. Thank you. Wonderful questions. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to answer some of this, except to tell you we are a medical facility. And so, of course, I'm using medical uh, medical IV bags, okay, the kind of things that you might get in the hospital, whether it's sterile water or 0.9 saline or dextrose or some other substances that we're able to use. And again, that's going to depend on what kind of viscosity, what we're putting in there. As far as how many times we use this, of course, anytime you put fluid into a patient, you want to make sure that they're able to take the fluid, which is why we run things like your kidney functions. 
Everything is done under aseptic technique. My nurses are very good. I have a wonderful nurse who is 100% on the money in terms of infection control. And um, this is no different than you would go into the hospital and get an IV. This is the same type of procedure. So the bags are not, uh, I don't fill bags with water. I mean, it's as simple. I think that's a misnomer. When I talk about hydration, I'm talking about delivering things that our body utilizes for hydration, which is something like exactly like the plasma in our body, which is 0.9 saline. All right, let's get uh, back to the phones quickly So uh, while we still have time. Mike is in Jenkintown. Mike, good morning. You're Hi. on Health Watch with Dr. Hi, Molly. Hi, Mike. Good morning, Dr. and Thank you for taking my call. No problem. And I hear you talking about the stealth sales. Yes. And can you tell me uh, what you call, what's his name on this and why I can buy it? Oh, well, listen, I, I, when I was talking about stem cells, I'm talking about our own stem cells. When I'm talking about regenerative medicine, I'm talking about a mix of uh, certain um, substances that actually tell the cells to communicate. They're signaling their cellular biologics, and they're extracted from natural material but you really can't buy that without a physician being present because it's injected into the areas that we're looking to help regenerate. So I hope that helps. Um, there are a lot of products. Yes, there are a lot of products. This is what I was saying in the beginning of this. There's a lot of products in the health food store that are labeled stem cell. And what I'm saying is uh, that's a little bit of a misnomer, I think. And I think it's it's important to realize when we talk about giving you that matrix or that mixture, we're talking about purely regenerative medicine. And then what we do is we augment that with more natural products. So, yeah, if you call my office, I can tell you what kind of products might help regenerate your own stem cells. Yes. Mike, thank you okay. for the call. Thank you. I appreciate it and, thank and good you. luck with it. Thank you. So you can't, okay, let me see if I understand this. You can't go into the health food store, or you can, you can. but you but but what you, if you get stem cells or there, whatever? It's not it's well, not what you do, right? You oh. might be getting a uh, you might be getting plant extract stem cells, but you know again, this is why this is why the FDA has come down hard on people using the term stem cell. I prefer to use a term called regenerative medicine, and I think it's more appropriate. But when I talk about vitality, I'm talking about utilizing food for your own cells. That's what I'm talking about. So it's a very clear difference, John. All right. And with that, we are putting the wraps on another edition of Health Watch. Don't forget, operators are still there as we leave you. Uh, They'll still be there after 9 o'clock, and they'll be there all morning and all afternoon. If you want to contact them, you want to make an appointment with Dr. Molly, it's 856-489-0505. That's the number for Innovative Medical Associates, 856-489-0505. Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey, and the website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. And don't forget, we have our Health Watch replay this afternoon. Today's show replayed 4 until 5 this afternoon. For Dr. Molly Fantasia and everyone at Innovative Medical Associates, the lovely Linda, Barbara, Delightful D, Joanne, Fabulous Fran, and our nurses, Jess and Crystal, and our medical assistant, Karen Kathy. I'm John DeMassey. Always a pleasure. Thank you for listening, and we'll do it all over again. Have a great week and a healthy one. Next Sunday, we do it all over again. Health Watch 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. Take care.